welcome back to hwlradio.com. You're here with your main man, Hollywood. And today we got GameStop cuts costs to deal with plunge in console sales. And here goes the story. The PS4 and Xbox One are clearly approaching the end of their main life cycles. And that's doing serious damage to GameStop's bottom line. The video game stores quarter one profits fell 6.8 million, just a quarter of what they were a year earlier, based on a steep 35% drop in new hardware sales. And that's after accounting for Nintendo Switch's strong performance, while GameStop didn't explain the decline gamers knew the next PlayStation and Xbox Scarlet were on the horizon. There wasn't much point to buying a current gen system. The much gentler dip in software sales, 4.3, reinforced this. The retailer didn't expect the situation to improve anytime soon. Either it also unveiled a string of cost cutting measures to stay afloat, including scrapping the company's share dividend by potentially saving $157 million per year and merging ThinkGeeks Online collecting sales with the main GameStop website just days earlier. GameStop had reshuffled its leadership with new chief customer officer and chief merchandising officer positions as well as a new financial chief. Hardware sales are bound to tick upward when the new systems arrive. Most likely in late 2020, however, the plummeting profits also reflect GameStop's fragility in a new era when game downloads are replacing physical copies. Console sales are much more important these days, and that's a problem when there's a hardware transition underway. And like I was telling somebody yesterday or the day before, well, not yesterday or the day before, it was probably about a week ago, I told people, motherfuck, it is cutting down the pricing on shipping distribution it cuts a that that takes a whole 300 damn thousand them dollars out nigga i was a rapper that's what they want to motherfucking distribute your shit 300 damn thousand dollars so that takes 300 damn thousand dollars out of the video game distribution so why not move over? and then it's a growing thing that's why I said PC gaming is really going to take over. After, after this E3, watch what I tell you. PC gaming is on the rise. And you know why? Because consoles is catching up to PC. PC is already there. It just ain't multi-platform. Once it go multi-platform, more people will be going over to PC. That's what game consoles are scared of. That's why they don't want a multi-platform. That's the big scare. But this is the thing, and this is what they don't understand. How many motherfuckers do you know that sleep, that's walking around doing shit that you know that is just plain up dumb and stupid to do? So guess what? You're still going to have your people that are set, like I'm an Xbox here or I'm a PlayStation head, and they want to stick with the consoles. Like me, I'm a hardware head. I'm somebody that checks out techs and specs and shit like that. So guess what? I'm PC. And if y'all want to learn more about that shit, then, you know, just just write it down below. But I can keep you up to date on that shit, too. Just donate to the channel. That's going to be it for today. So make sure you go over to hwlradio.com, download the radio station app. Make sure you check out the sponsors page and shit. You don't want to do all that, go over to Alexa. Be like, hey, Alexa, can you play that hwlradio.com for me? And bam, check me out. And I'm out.